All right, in this video, we're going over how to graph solutions to one variable inequalities. Um, so let's go over what the different inequality symbols are. So remember that greater than is uh, this symbol, and then less than is this symbol. And the way that I remember that the less than is this symbol is because it kind of looks like an L, if you took an L and kind of like squished a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's the less than symbol. And then remember, if there's a line underneath, like over here, that means greater than or equal to. And then here, sorry, here we have less than or equal to. So you can see it's the same symbol as over here. It just has that line under, underneath. All right. So we're going to graph these. So I can see here that I have the inequality x is greater than 3. So remember on these, you want to graph the um, inequality on the line and you want to write it in words. So if I was going to write this one, this would be x is greater than 3. Okay, and then to graph it, remember I'm going to put my um, dot at my boundary point. So I need to figure out, is it going to be an open dot or a closed dot? So remember, open dot is the one that is not filled in. So if it's less than or greater than, it's going to be an open dot. And then if it's greater than or equal to, it'll be a closed dot. And same with less than or equal to, this will be a closed dot. Because remember, if it's closed, that means that um, the number where you put the dot is included. And then if it's open, like over here, it does not include the number where the dot is. Okay. So let's put our dot at 3, our boundary point right here. Okay, so I put a dot at 3. And I know that's going to be an open dot because um, this inequality does not have the line underneath, like over here. All right, so I put my dot there. And now I need to figure out which way does the arrow go. Is it going to go to the right or to the left? So let me pick a number that's going to make this inequality true. So what can I plug in for x? That makes this true. So, okay, x is greater than 3. So, what's a number that's greater than 3? Well, that would be maybe like 4. 4 is greater than 3. So, I know that I put my little like test dot at 4 right here. I know that my arrow is going to go to the right because that's where the number 4 is. And I can see that any number larger than 3 will make this inequality true. And again, it's an open dot because three is not included because I could not put I could not put in three for this inequality. Three is not greater than three. All right, let's do the second one. So down here, I have negative two, and this symbol is the less than or equal to. So I have negative two is less than. Remember, it has the um, or equal to because it has that line underneath inequality less than or equal to x. If you wanted to, you could also write it the other way. Like if you like putting the x first, you could say, OK, well, if I think about it the opposite way, let me kind of flip these. X is greater than or equal to negative 2. So you also could write it that way. So x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Both of them are right. Sometimes students just like to put the x first. Okay, so let me put my dot at my um, boundary point. So we know it's at negative 2, and it's going to be a closed dot. Because remember up here, if it's less than or equal to, I'm going to use the closed dot right here. So I have my closed dot, and then let me use a test point. So, okay, so the alligator is facing the x. So what's the number that's bigger than negative 2? Um, I don't know, how about 0? Zero? 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2. So if 0 is over here, then I know that my line or my arrow is going to go to the right. Okay. So remember, you want to plot the boundary point, so like the number, um, the number right here or here. And then you want to figure out which way does your arrow go.